happens to those people? They have been given a purpose. Congratulations on your screening last night. It blew through the roof. And I look forward to seeing many uh, voice uh, Nazi monster hunter movies from <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> for many years. Because uh, I, I, mean, I mean, I don't want to spoil the film, but it felt like at the end of the film, it's like, Yes, let's let's get more of that. Yeah, we got some more work to do, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not done. You're in Charlie Company. Not even close. Yeah. Go to Charlie Company. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask y'all a few questions about. Uh, this is a Man on a Mission movie, and uh, did y'all find any films like that to inspire you for these performances? Uh, we watched a lot of uh, a lot of like the traditional like World War II movies just mm -hmm. to get us in the right headspace because we definitely didn't want to play it like this is a horror movie so we're gonna do like what horror movies do with characters it was just like we want this to be as grounded in realism as we can get it before we pull the rug from under it but I would have to say just for like the the theme of adventure probably would be Indiana Jones mm -hmm. just because it's it's more it's more so. An adventure than an action film because things are happening to us and we're reacting to it versus just pure, you know, magazine changes and shooting. It's more than that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's a story to be to be had. So no, definitely, <clears throat> I uh, was I watched a lot of uh, and we watched a lot of uh, World War II film to stay in the era. Uh, in, in 1940 and what happened with American soldiers and the Nazi and everything. But uh, also I had a, a bit of Tarantino uh, inside of it, uh, which is my, like, I love Tarantino so much, and Indiana Jones as well, so it was a good uh, right balance. And when you set up in the era, then after you try to be as much, as Jevon said, uh, simple and natural as possible. Uh, I was going to ask, was there like a, a team building effort between the actors before shooting? It's almost like a squad in its way because the connectivity between all the characters is so great it felt like this was something that you really worked on. Oh yeah, I mean we, uh, we had a, a couple days in the, uh, in the woods uh, with a boot camp with uh, Freddie Farnsworth. He was our, uh, our military advisor and I think that really helped us to really learn how to work together as a team and to communicate and it was just nice it was a nice bonding experience but it was awesome because even while when we were coming back from boot camp uh, Matilda had arrived and she kind of just fit right in with the group you know we spent a lot of time together away from set mm -hmm. so I think that really helped us on set and you can really tell that we trusted each other as actors and mm -hmm. you know it, it was really beneficial for us to spend as much time together as possible while we were in England it was like the best time yeah it was incredible. We uh, just behind the scenes and like on set, we were discussing about the character. And at the beginning, we just bump into, you know, like a like usual like subject. Like, uh, oh, do you like this artist for music? Which was your favorite like film? And so we start joking about different things, making fun of each other, and uh, just going out in the weekend, <laughs> having dinner, um, karaoke. You know, it is just became very. It was super natural actually. I didn't have to feel. I didn't feel like we need to work on the, uh, having a relationship. Um, the sequence where you go into uh, the underground and you kind of see everything as the story kind of comes out, uh, the fear that's in your eyes, kind of tell them about the motivation of that. And because I, to me, your characters are the entry points for the audience. Uh, I, I mean, everybody, nobody gets. I mean, we don't often go to war, uh, and between your two, where these, these massive events are happening around y'all, that's our entry point to the movie. So, talk about how that was a little bit. I think that was the most. Uh, but that was almost the focal point, at least when, when it came to, you know, our conversations with Julius. You know, sometimes you can be too close to a character and you're trying to live in your head too much and you're trying to, like, keep everything internal, especially because you can capture everything on film. But we kind of had to, at times, really amp up the experience because, he, you know, Julius would have to remind us, like, the audience is seeing really everything, not just, you know, what, you know the exterior things, but really the essence of what this film is through your eyes. So you have to live in it and just really raise it. So even that sequence that you're referring to, my entry into the you know the underground station and all that, it was just kind of literally just there's no moment of being calm because if you think about it, I went in there by myself. So if I'm caught, that's it. They're gonna kill me right there. There's gonna be no discussion at all. So even that, just living in that world, it was really easy just to be like, um, every moment this is just the scariest. I can't turn this corner without some other guy coming this way and then he looks and I sneeze and he thinks he heard something. It was just insane. So, but I think it added to, you know, the essence of that moment. So it was awesome. It was fun. 
Thank y'all very much. Y'all's performances were wonderful, and the film is a really enjoyable and fun. I had a really great time with it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate it. How do you feel? I feel really good. Uh, holy Christ.